is 33 and her battle has made national headlines. And today that battle will continue in an Oakland County Court. Yes, it will. We're talking about Rebecca Brudeau and she didn't want her son vaccinated, but the judge said that she had to and she did not comply with that court order and was put in jail. As Nick Monticelli shows us, her fight continues. Good morning to you. The hearing scheduled for today is an evidentiary hearing, which in a criminal case would be obviously the evidence found. This is a little different where they're talking about religious beliefs or opt out options here in the state of Michigan. Either way, it's one that is certainly heated on both sides. On behalf of Rebecca Bredo, who is Rebecca Bredo made national headlines after being sent to jail for violating an agreement to have her son vaccinated. I take full responsibility for my actions. But Bredo says she never agreed to vaccinate her son, saying her previous lawyer did not explain the agreement. I, I didn't give consent. You know, I would have never. I, I mean, obviously, I went to jail over it. That's how strongly I feel about vaccines. Her son was given vaccinations while she was in jail. It was heartbreaking for me, you know, because it's the reality of something you can't take back. She also lost primary custody of her son. Now the case is back in front of a judge reviewing evidence as Bruno cites her religious beliefs for not wanting to vaccinate. With custody now being 50-50, it gets tricky as to which parent makes the decisions. But a part of this is Bordeaux's appeal on the custody decision. And her new lawyer says Bordeaux is not breaking any laws. The reality is Michigan law allows people to opt out of vaccinating their children. And all you have to do is attend a class at health department every year to do so. And Rebecca has done that. Now the judge in this case has approved cameras in the courtroom so we can be inside to let you know exactly what happens. In the newsroom, Nick Monticelli, Local 4 News Today.